Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your girl, Miss DJ Hoodie, getting at you guys with part two of the Re Up podcast of the episode My A1C Plus Whining and Complaining 3324. I had no idea that there were additional clips that needed to be added to part one. It was just a straight drop. <laughs> okay. And uh, I apologize for it. And uh, yeah, I'm in editing mode when I discovered the last clips. And that's just what happens when you save things to your phone. And it saved in folders within folders within folders and you cannot find them. Yeah. So <laughs> they're added in with this clip part two. And uh, don't forget to um, go over to Spotify and go into the Q&A on part one and answer this following question. Are you planning to keep up with your health or change your health? If so, how do you plan to change it? All right, you can answer that on Spotify. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this episode. And apologies. And um yeah, don't forget to add, rate, comment, subscribe, follow, and share. Now, let's get to the rest of this episode. Hey, everyone. So, I don't know where I left you guys off at. I'm really sorry. But, um, yeah, I... Oh, my gosh. I went home. I chilled out for an hour, uh, you know, because of my stomach. And, um... Yeah, I was talking to Rob, and yeah, we we don't know when we're going to do the podcast. So um, let's just forget about that. Um, <laughs> I'm out here doing um, deliveries with Uber. I had to pick up like a whole bunch of ice cream um, from uh, Cold Stone. And I usually don't like to deliver ice cream Cold Stone because... Um, especially when it's a double order, um, all the ice cream melts and then they get mad at you. So, yeah, but I, it was just down the road and yeah, it was fine. And I picked up, what did I pick up? Oh, I picked up McDonald's. So I'm delivering the McDonald's order right now. And let me see if I can make this light. Yes, we made the light. Oh my gosh. And this light takes forever. So, yeah, um, we're going to drop this order off. Um, the chick, she wanted the McFlurries and the shakes. And I called her and I was like, yo, they have no ice cream. So, what do you want to drink? And she's like, I don't like nothing. And I was like, are you sure? Like, they'll give you soda. They'll give you, like, orange juice. And she's just like, no. She's like, I don't want anything. And I was like, but you still want the nuggets, right? Like, you still want the nuggets and the fries. And she said, yeah, I still want those. And I'm like, all right. And she was like, I'll just take a refund. And I was like, all right. So, <laughs> I, oh, the, the guy at the restaurant at McDonald's, he, he heard me. And he was like, we don't issue the refunds. She's going to have to contact Uber about that. And so I messaged her, and I was like, yeah, they said that you have to get the refund. And she never messaged me back, so I was like, all right, they can't, she can't fucking say that. I never told her, so, I don't know, like, dude, I was gonna be like, shit, if she don't want to drink, I'll take it, <laughs> even though I have a, I have a drink right here, but... Yeah, it's, it's cool. But, yo, I did a whole ass fucking circle. Because I, I was just on this road, like, less than an hour ago. So, yeah, it really took me around a whole circle. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, what orders that we get next. And let me say something. I really hope the lady that, um, because we were stuck at the gate. They never, she never gave me a gate code to get through to deliver her ice cream to like a shitload of people. And I feel like because the GPS was talking to me, right? And as we were hanging up the phone, I said, oh, stupid bitch. So I hope the lady doesn't think that I call her a stupid bitch. I was 
was talking to the fucking GPS. It's like, shut up! I'm trying to talk and I'm trying to, like, find the location and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. And I feel like she did hear me because all of the people that she got ice cream for, they were all sitting outside and they were all watching me. And when I gave her the ice cream, I was like, you know, you guys have a nice night. And then I was like, bye, guys. And they were all like, bye. So, I hope they didn't, you know, like, I, I hope she didn't hear it and then be like, like, oh, I think she just called me a stupid bitch. And then all of them just being like, oh, you know, so I hope not. <laughs> Fuck, I need to watch my mouth. Okay, so yeah, I'm just getting here to drop off this order for, I forgot what her name is, but yeah, she sounded hella annoyed. But it's like, bitch, you need to order your food, like, hella early if you want ice cream. Because they shut down shit. They shut down shit and thought you knew. Okay, so we're just getting here. New message from Uber. Leave at door. Yes, and she has a weird name. Her name is Yamalet. 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 Oh, my gosh. Hold on, you guys. Okay, so I dropped off to, I don't know, I don't remember her name even though I just read it. Yeah, so my dad just called and they're back home from Phoenix and they're like hella tired. So, yeah, um, yeah, I need to get out of this neighborhood. So we didn't get any more offers. Um, yeah, I might go back to where I was before I got this ice cream and McDonald's order. And I got to eat my French fries because you guys know McDonald's French fries, they turn into toothpicks when they get fucking cold. So, yeah, I'm going to get my, I'm going to have my, um, yo, am I, am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Just making sure. So, um, yeah, I'll get back at you guys with our next pickup, the miles and the minutes. So, stay tuned. Yo, so, uh, I've been chilling for at least a half an hour. And I've been getting nothing but trash orders. This is one that keeps coming in at me. <clears throat> it's um, $4 for 1.1 miles. And it's for um, Wingstop. And it hit me like four times. And I keep declining it. And yeah, that dude's never going to see his wings. He's never going to see his wings. $4 for 2.7 miles. No, I'm not doing that. But yo, I'm just chilling on TikTok. And I was hitting up Rob. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm kind of wondering if I should go home or if I should... Um, go more into Mesa or not. Like, I'm on the border between my home, my hometown and Mesa. I see Walmart. One, two, five bags for $6.02 going 11.4 miles. No. So, yeah, I'm just $7.13 going five and a half miles. No. <clears throat> I've been taking um orders for like a dollar a mile and now they're just coming at me so yeah that's why i don't like to do it because they kind of track you like oh adi's been taking offers for a dollar a mile let's just go ahead and throw her these weenie ones no so um yeah i'm gonna put you guys on hold um yeah i'm just gonna chill until we get like a good a better offer but yeah, for now, I'm just chilling on TikTok. Mm hmm Okay, so I've been chilling there for 45 minutes. Um, which includes the 30 minutes that I was telling you guys about earlier. I turned off the apps. I am going deeper into Mesa. And... Uh, me and Rob, we're probably gonna still do a podcast, but it's gonna be on, 
um, Twitter spaces. So you guys go check that out. Yeah, so I'm just going to go down to... Um, it's kind of not really like that far, but um, it's kind of like another... It's like another restaurant district. And the time right now is 9.40 p.m. And it's Sunday, so I don't know how good it's going to be because... You know, in a, in a few hours, it's going to be Monday, and then everybody's kind of, like, already already in bed. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if I should just, if I should just go home, because I'm starting to feel sleepy. And then I feel like I got to, I got to edit this episode as well. But what makes me want to go out there still is because of my pay. Um, I got like a $12.32 tip and I'm pretty sure it's from the woman and the ice cream. So <laughs> I'm so scared that, that I think she heard me say that. So, um, okay. Rob just hit me up saying that he's, he's willing to to podcast Oof. <clears throat> so yeah we might just we might just do that um i might need to go to my location because i don't know if he gets like uncomfortable with me moving around you know because when we're on the phone i feel like that he doesn't want to like interrupt me but really like he doesn't like being on the phone working being okay being on the phone and working it doesn't make me feel like i'm being bothered you know but i feel like people don't like it so yeah sometimes if somebody says like oh i'll let you go so you can work and for me i'm like no like stay like i like the company or whatever but i feel like they they don't like it like i don't know it's it's like they lose their focus on what they're talking about so yeah but um yo we're just we're just gonna hang right we're just gonna hang for about an hour and then we'll see we'll see um if we if we get any good offers um there was this one offer it was going for 32 dollars in some sense but it was ride share and it was going like pretty much where we're going to right now but i just didn't want to have the stresses of um you know driving somebody so uh just just not feeling just not feeling it right now but um so yeah and honestly i'm starting to feel sleepy but we're kind of like on our way oh my gosh am i making a mistake should i just go around in a whole ass circle and go back home i kind of don't want to do that i don't know i should try to make at least 80 dollars um, and just, you know, because I don't have any Amazon, uh, blocks booked. So it's not like I'm, like, I'm really on a schedule anymore right now. So that's what's kind of making me feel good about being out is that I don't have to, you know what I mean? Oh my God. Do they still have it blocked off? They do. Oh, this is so annoying. All right, so I'm going to have to get off on Guadalupe and go. Oh, my God, this sucks. Are you kidding me? Well, it's Monday, so they're about to break these down. But shit, man. Talk about another fucking circle I got to go. All right, it's fine. Maybe we'll get something around around down <laughs> down south but yeah i'm just taking my time i'm just driving 65 i'm not trying to haul ass but um oh my gosh so yeah i'm gonna see what's going on down this way and hopefully we'll get some really good ones um there's there's like a um there's like a 24 hour um subway around the place that I'm thinking about going and then there's like a, a 
of Filiberto's and there's like these bar and grills. Uh, some of them close like at 11 so I got about like another hour or so to maybe pick up from there. There's like um, there's like an IHOP, there's a Denny's. So let's just hope that I'll get in I'll get in with uh, I'll, I'll get some orders coming out of there. But yo, this might be the last clip of the episode because if me and Rob are gonna be on spaces, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna forget that I'm even recording this. So um, I'm just gonna. <clears throat> I'm just gonna end the clip, but if if I have time and if I remember and if I feel like kicking it on, then I'll go ahead and do that. But um, thank you guys so much for pressing play. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and don't forget to add, rate, comment, subscribe, follow, and share. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next Way Up podcast episode. Have a nice night. Peace. And there you have part two. So I remember this particular night because not just of the ice cream, but yeah, her may have hearing me (laughs) say what I said. Um, I thought I recorded that entire incident because I remember being stuck at the gate and there was like two people that were on foot that were trying to get through the gate as well. Um, We, neither of us had access um and when i hit up the lady saying that we can't get like i'm stuck at the gate and she was like oh there's nobody there and it's just like what is the damn access code there's nobody here you know so um she gave it to me but then those other people that were on foot they already had the the code um i thought I was recording that whole thing. So apparently I wasn't. So that's what really sucks. But um, yeah, I remember that night. (laughs) I was laughing listening to this uh, episode. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, what would you have done? What would you have done if the woman had heard you? Like you're talking to the GPS, right? Because the GPS just keeps interrupting your thoughts and your conversations. So what would you have done if the woman had said, yeah, I heard you, I I heard what you called me. Me, straight up, I would have been like, I was talking to the GPS. (laughs) When you have phone conversations and the GPS is directing you, the other person on the other end doesn't hear it. And I would have been like, yo, call me again, I'll prove it to you. (laughs) that's what I would have done honestly um but what would have you done would you have gotten mad and been like yo yeah I called you a stupid bitch because it's like just give me the access code like you live here you should know that the person the night guard doesn't isn't there in his little house letting people in and out after a certain time so yeah and honestly if she had heard me and if I was calling her a stupid bitch because of not having the access code I probably would have been like yeah I did I did because You should know that you live in a gated community. You're supposed to drop an access code. And why didn't you? It's supposed to be smooth sailing. (laughs) But who knows if, if we all would have taken it that far. You know what I mean? Because there's a chance that you would get reported. And then your account would be suspended. And you can't make any money. Even though it was the customer's fault. But yeah, it, it's all your fault. Because you're providing a service. And um, it's you're the loser. And it's never them. So anyways. But yeah, go head over to Spotify. 
and um, drop your answers in the Q&A. What would you have done? Okay, and let's talk about it. And I hope you guys enjoyed part two. And um, yeah, I am off to edit the very next episode. And I hope you guys enjoyed that one as well. And don't forget to scroll to the bottom on Spotify after listening to an episode and interact with the Q&A. All right. So, yeah, don't forget to add, rate, comment, subscribe, follow, and share. And I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.